July the 9th. It's two o'clock on a Tuesday and ready for a tile. So, uh, tile number, oh goodness me, 457. Do you know, it's great, isn't it? When you think all these tiles we've done, every one is different, but each one teaches you something a little bit sort of out there. So, whether it's showing how you could put a bit of ink with some tiles or whether you can use a bit of watercolour, whether you can just simply draw and shade with a tortillon. There are so many possibilities of what you can do with these things. It's fabulous, isn't it? So what have I got today? Regular sort of cream tile. I've inked around with my colour clouds. It's, I can't remember the name of it. It's an orange one. And I've used a little bit here of my, here we go, my Victorian stencil. Although you see it's a little bit blurred because I spritzed it a bit just to sort of uh, put it back in, in the background. I didn't want it massively crisp. And uh, that's where that's ended up. So I'm going to come in straight with a pen. Always at 03 unless uh, I'm going to do something a little bit thicker. And then I'll come in with an 05. But usually it's the 03. And as ever, if you want to, you don't have to use a... Uh, pen to start with you can always use a pencil if you're happier it doesn't matter where this is at all uh, as to where we start I'm going to go with I think sort of around this area so let's have a look I'm going to start with a uh, bit of a a loop but I'm going to put a little bit of kink on the top there like that a little bit heart shape I suppose and I'm going to aim to get three together so they don't all have to be the same shape, but what I'm aiming for, look, is three, like that. All right. So next little bit then, and I'm going to come in with, let's, I'm going to put this way, I'm going to add some stripes in this way. And this way, look, I'm going to add some stripes in this way. Okay, let's do the same here, look. Now, if yours are a little bit bigger and you can get more stripes in, go for it. If yours are a bit smaller and you can't get as many, then that's fine too. You put less in. Oh, lots of stripes. All right. So I'm going to put a little curve on the top of each one there. Like that. Okay. And then fill in any little gaps we've got there. Hi Vicky. Okay. And along we go. Doing the same thing. Oh, it's nice to see everybody. Hello. Well, I confused you all last week thinking that I wasn't doing a tile today. But, uh... <laughs> oh, I hope Louise is okay then. She's... I've not seen you guys for ages. Oh, she's not very well. I send her my love. Villains. So we work our way around. There you go. Okay, so next little bit then, what I want to do is come around. I'm going to start in the middle of this one and I'm going to put myself another one of those shapes. But see how it goes over those two? And similar here, like same sort of thing, like it's going over from one into the other. And similar. Now here, look, I'm going to go down there it's not quite going to reach and that's fine because I sort of wanted to put four in anyway so there it is and then again I'm going to imagine look this way we're going to have stripes that way I'm going to get three in this time look and then let's get in three that side same sort of thing look now don't think you've got to get three in at the same time or four at the same side it doesn't matter it's however many you can get in at one go if you only get three one side and two the other that's absolutely fine we're not going to count them Let's see if they're into that one okay so let's go in there again look and i'm going to put little curves on the edges again of each of those shapes and then fill in with a bit of ink I'll work my way around. And then in we go with these ones. Same again, look. And fill it in. I'm not using my five to fill those in because there's so much. There's, lots, there's not that 
that much sort of uh, look I've got a little crawly what's going on there look go on off you go well that's come from don't want him in my craft room that's for sure oh, he's disappeared we've got a long walk we want to get off this desk So you sort of get the idea this pattern's forming all the same. I reckon so, Jackie. I don't know where he's gone. I've not squished him. Okay, so there we go. Next bit then, a similar sort of thing. Oh, let's fill that in. So I'm going to sort of come off sort of the centre of the back of one of these and again put that little sort of wobble in. And then, uh, although if he's under my tile, I can't be um, responsible for what happens. Oh, the next okay so same again look drawing those lines and that way and around you see how it just sort of they settle in and you, you get into the gist of it and before you know it you're putting these stripes on everything That's what I really love about this community is that everybody wishes everyone well and we all sort of look out for each other. It's lovely. I think that's what this is all about, isn't it? Yeah. You just a few hours getting together, just chilling out for a little bit, saying hi and uh, doing a bit of drawing. I think Benji's a bit under the weather, actually. It's good job I'm at home today. He's been outside a few times and it's throwing it down. So every time he's come in, I've had to get the towel out, give him a little dry. So he's looking a little bit sorry for himself at the minute. But that's the way it is. Right, look. And uh, just sort of filling those bits in. I never do tricky tiles, do I, Chris? Sometimes they've got a little bit of a challenge in there. I don't know, you all have your favourites. You all like some more than others, I know that, which is why I try and change things up a little bit. So, okay. Uh, Vicky normally Benji won't, but obviously he's, he's uh, felt the need to today. All right, let's have a little look at that. So it's sort of filled quite a space there, hasn't it, this one? Like that. Okay, so I'm going to sort of move over to uh, this side, I think, now. And I'm going to start again, and I'm going to put one of those sort of sets of three in. There you are. Same sort of thing. And as before, I'm going to put those lines in. See? Working my way. So looking at this side, look, it's going that way. So I'm angling the lines slightly to sort of fit on each side. And then, of course, let's add those curves. And then, same on this one. See, I'm just filling those edges in. And along we go. All right, so same idea, going to bring those lines in. See that I'm a little bit more confident now. See, that's going in that way, that's fine. Because I've sort of worked my way off and around without stopping. But, you know, you can place them where you like, it's fine. Whatever works for you. All right. So, same lines as before, look. There we go. And then into those sort of uh, curves, filling in. And round we go. Okay. And into that. 
two of those. And this one. So it's quite a nice little flower to do this one. Very sort of straightforward, very quick. You know, and if you don't want to fill the little bits in around the edge, you don't have to. Or you can use a different colour. There we go, look. Last row. See, now that's going off. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Just do another one there. And another one there. Okay. So, fill that bit in. And see there, I'm getting sort of three in. So that's sort of what's happening with mine. You might find that it's a little bit different. It depends on how, how big or small you draw your petals. But it's, uh, you know, with drawing it, you get that muscle memory and they tend to be quite similar. See, look there, do I leave it? And I'm going to leave it because look, I've got three there, two there, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, see? So then, let me make it curves again. And see, so I'm just going to get that end one there. And sort of following them around. There we go. Little curves. There we go. See, just see this one. I'm not going to see much of that because it's going off the end there. And then that's okay. Like that. And last one here. And there we go. So there's two there. So I'm going to do another one, not in the middle here. I'm going to do it off to one side. And maybe not as big as those. Again, look at your piece and you decide how big or small you want it to be. So let me come in again, look, lines. So I'm not going to sort of try and get them all exactly the same. See, there's going to be slightly less, that's fine. And in we go with the curves again. Now this time they're all a little bit smaller. So just take your time with them because of course you want those lines to sort of join with the original ones that you drew. And same in there. Okay. So here we go again. Round we go. And of course this one is so going to go Underneath that one, it, it's sort of a matter of course there. All right. It gives us that four. And then again. Our little lines. As we go. So however many you sort of find and you get in there. It doesn't matter. And same again. That's one doing with those. Filling those with ink. And in with that. Okay. Just each one. You just make sure that you've got them covered in there. And then getting those bits of ink in there, filling them in. Around we go, like so. Okay, so one more. Uh, again, let's sort of find, see this is sort of halfway there. Let's come in with that one there. And do another. And another. And one more. Again, it's going to sit underneath there, which is absolutely fine. And of course, stripes as before. Okay, curving one way, then curving the other. And along that way. And along this way. 
can see kind of similar thing going on there and then of course I'm going to come round and put those curves on the top so we've got those little bits of pockets we're going to fill with ink oh rose yeah they are they're really useful aren't they for all sorts of things actually those little stamps I don't know if we've got any left now most of them have gone Oh dear, that bend you whinging at me. Okay, there we go with those. And the next bit. And up we go. Again, just filling those bits in. Okay. Alright, look at that. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, couple of little bits to add in here I've left a space here on purpose because uh, what I wanted to do here is bring out a couple of little lines let's just go in a little bit so you can see it and then along here let's fill that bit in and then I'm going to come around that shape and then I'm going to Come in with quite big shapes almost like little hats on the top there we did do this one the other day actually and we put some little lines in we could do the same again almost like little windows or you can leave them sometimes it's nice to revisit to see how you can improve or how you can bring them in uh, rose no this is not a new one this is from the victorian set the little flowers All right, so let's get a couple of these in. Right. See, just some little lines as so we go in there. And then I'm going to have one, I've got to have one crossing underneath. Add it in. Right. Around again. And again, look quite sort of large there. Alright, see, so a little bit, it's lovely, isn't it? I like these little thing, little things, little lines. Let's have a little look at that. Okay, so I think we're going to get one or maybe two out here as well. Depends how big you draw them, and how much space you've got there. As we wander in there, there we go. Okay, some little marks in. Oh, yeah, I think definitely another one there. Going around, filling it with a bit of ink. How do we go? I oh, know, more. I kind of like these, and again, I think it's nice to see them in two different contexts. So you can see that you don't have to do them on, you don't have to do different all the time. Something's a bit different there. Yeah. Put a couple of little bubbles in. All right. Okay. So I'm going to bring a little bit of watercolour in today. I think I'm going to sort of stick with orangey colours. Let's have a look. Um, what do I have? So this one is quite similar. Look, this one's number 34. I also I love this one is number 32 i think i'm going to bring a bit of red in as well just to enhance it that touch number 19 but you could use anything you like you don't have to do the same thing as me you can shade it with your torture if you want but i'm going to do i want a little bit of darkness sort of in the middle of those you see and you see where the sort of petal comes down just in places i'm going to add a little bit not all the way around, you see, just in, just in bits. Okay, same sort of thing here. And you see again, just sort of in some of those areas around. Watercolour doesn't need to take ages. 
it can be a little bit of colour. It can be quicker than having regular coloured pencils because you don't have to particularly blend them such. There we go. See, so little bits up there and in there. So you know, don't don't sort of uh, avoid them because you think they're going to take ages or they're difficult to do. You see, I'm adding colour in, not particularly pressing on, just about adding some colour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Chris. Yeah, that was number 19. There you go. And I'm going to come down to the next one, which is number 34, which is um, the orange, but a little bit darker than the uh, the next one. So again, look, mixing a bit of colour in there. I'm not colouring the whole thing, just adding some bits in there. All right. Just as we're working our way around. So well, it looks a little bit rough. It's almost like using the pencil and torture, isn't it? That always looks a bit rough until you blend it out. But this we're going to use water to do that with. So, And then we'll see what happens from there. All right. And remember with this, you can always go back in with pen if you need to and add more tangles. Or you could add some little dots and things over it. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, not being particularly neat. Here we go then, number uh, number 32. There it is, 32. Yeah, I'm not going to put as much this on. It's just bits in places, look. Uh, Viv, that's a very good point. Uh, it will pick up a little bit, only, only a bit, because I'm not using a load of water. If I was to sort of spritz it, then yes, it would lift and move. But because I'm not going to use too much water, it's not going to move particularly. So not to worry. Okay. So here we go. A little bit of a pot. Got my little spritz there. Now, again, the other thing when you use water, you don't need much of it. So I've got a spritz of pot there. Look, see. Oh, hang on. See if I've only got a little bit. We, we get tempted sometimes to use the smallest brush possible for everything. And we don't need to do that. With this one, I'm going to sort of move up a little bit. I'm going to come into this one here, which is my number six. You think, oh, six, that's quite a way up. It's not, it's about halfway through. Just a little bit of water, look, dry it off. Because we don't need to use much at all. You see? Work it round. Now, I'm not going to sort of try and blend it out with water. I'm going to let it sort of stay because it's nice to have that bit of sort of text you see there you've got those little lines and oh susan i wish it was still monday that would mean i'd get another day in my week okay you see just sort of work it out a little bit but i'm not trying to completely blend it it's just sort of moving it a little bit round okay a bit more water dry your brush off so it's it's not going to move that background you see for how little water I'm putting on and I'm just focusing my attention onto these little bits here so small amounts you see there I've got a little bit more to work in might need a bit of water there not too much okay don't be tempted if you think that you've not got enough color on don't be tempted to go back with your coloured pencils, your watercolour pencils, whilst you've still got water on there. You must let it dry first. Okay. But again, see, I'm not trying to blend it completely. It's just moving it a little bit. When you feel it's a bit dry, it's not moving and you can go back in with a touch of water. But again, I'm not really overdoing it. See, just sort of letting it do its own thing. It's giving it a little hint of colour in areas. There you go. So a little bit of water when you need it. Okay. And you have to make sure as well, if you've got a cup of tea to one side, make sure that your, your water and your tea is sort of in different places. Because you don't want to end up dipping it in your tea. 
which I've done before. I'm speaking from experience. See, I'm just, just little bits in. I'm letting it do its thing. Okay. All right, let's have a little look at that. See how it's giving it a little bit of colour in places, but because I've used very little water, it's going to dry my brush off. That's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much dry. So I'm going to come in with regular pencil. Okay. And just while that's finishing off drying, I'm going to bring a little bit of pencil in here. Just on the tips there. And I'm going to come down one side of these little shapes. Okay. Uh, Vicky, watercolour is a little bit different. It doesn't like to work too well on dark. Uh, I don't have any dark paper here with me or else I'd show you. Um it doesn't sort of show up the same as the others because, of course, the water reduces the, the pigment in it. But um, you, you could try it. I mean, if you've got a white base, then go over the top and give it a go. But I'm not, I'm not going to say it's going to be as, as successful as using the other colours, if that makes sense. It's a completely different feel with watercolour. Um, but, yeah, all right, by arms, give it a go and let me know. You see how I'm just putting pencil around the outside? Will you shut up, Benji, please? Goodness sake. Okay. Let's see a little bit there, look as well. I'm sorry if you can all hear him crying. It's not that I'm ignoring him. <laughs> it's like, goodness me. Oh, I don't know. He, he, he doesn't... Uh, yeah. Doesn't like to be ignored. Okay, talk to you on. So here we go. I'm going to soften off around those edges ever so gently. Ever so gently. I think he's got to be in a little bit needy like this last week or so. He whinges about everything. If you're not fussing him, if you are fussing him, if you're in his seat, which is my seat, <laughs> if you're not in his seat, <laughs> okay. Right. Well, it's going to soften those. I complained the other night that there was a pillow in the wrong place. Did Benji? A pillow. Right, see? So now I know that that's pretty dry. I can come in and I can add a little bit. Now I'm going to pick on just little areas. You see? So I'm not trying to do all of it, just little areas separating some of those petals. And then I can go over the top and blend it in. Okay. Uh, you have to make sure that your pencil is completely dry. You don't want any water mixing with your, your graphite. All right. So see here, yeah, nice and dry. So let's pick a few spaces. See a little bit there. There's no absolute... 100% rule as to where you pick this. See, I'm going to put a bit under there because it's going underneath. But, you know, as long as you don't do all of it. Oh, no, Vicky. It's just, what's, I don't know what's the matter. Vicky's moaning because he's a bit wet round the ears. <laughs> Literally speaking. I don't know. All right. You see? So, softening that up. This is just bringing it out a little bit, isn't it? Just bringing it a little bit of detail there. And the same here. Okay, I think we're going to use another colour just in a minute to finish because I want that centre to look a little bit darker and I don't want to sort of bring my pencil in to do that. You see again, just areas. And soften it off. All right, so it's not sort of losing the colour underneath, it's just... Give it a little bit of shadow. Okay, there you are. Okay. <laughs> so, being that I've used um, sort of reds and oranges, you want him to be looking at, see, if it was red, you'd want him to be look for a bit of darkness for a dark green. This is number three. But because I've also used like an orange, you might want to bring in a dark blue colour. 
And in this case, 35, or you could use as a darker one, number 10, you see? So the choice, in a sense, is yours. I think I'm going to go with the green for this one, which is my number three. And if I just sort of come in a little bit, what I'm going to do is add a touch of it in the middle there. Okay, you see? And same with that one. And that one. And I'm just going to add a little bit of it over the top of that pencil there. Okay, so you could choose if you wanted to, to leave this and not use any water. A little bit down there too, see? But I'm going to show you that you can actually use a bit of water over the top. And because we're using very small amounts, so I'm going to stick the same brush. All right, let's get some water in. And it's going to pull it out from the middle. See, too much water. You don't want it muddy and everything. You see how much I'm flicking it ever so gently. Yeah. Okay. Same with this one, look. Ever so gently. And this one. So too much water and it's just going to go a little bit muddy. But we don't want that. So we want to use very little water and flick it out a bit. You see? Just gives it a bit of shadow in there. And last little bit along here. Again, I've used very little water. All right, it's just enough to keep it going. You can always add a bit more if you need to, but taking it away is a little bit tricky, okay? So into there. And then along here. And then this one, see? So... You can go over the graphite, it's not a problem. You don't want to sort of be spreading it too far. And there you go. Let's have a little look at what we've got there then. Okay. So, yeah, I could bring a bit of green in there. Just along that edge. Just sort of where um, it meets there. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, and last but not least, a little bit of a signature there. Uh, I'm going to go there, I think. All right. Okay, so there it is. There's our tile for the day. I uh, hope you have a go at it. Give it a try. I mean, this just a little hint of that sort of um, stencil there looks really nice, doesn't it? The rest of it's sort of been obscured now. But, you know, just having that touch, it just makes that, side a little just a little bit interesting when it compares to just having ink all the way around so give it a go it doesn't matter what size your stencil is if you've got just a tiny little bit it's nice to sort of do that but keeping it all in the same colors as well can have quite a nice effect but of course go all out and use every color you like if you want to but just as a, a repeat if you need it i use number 19 which is the the reddish color i used number 34 i used number 32 okay that was for the main flower bit and then i i went with the green which is number 003 okay so all done and sorted oh brush size as i say i used my sand angle brush number six so you don't want something too small you just want something that's going to cover okay when you've used it you know clean it off and just Bring it back to its point and that's how it dries and that's how you're going to make sure that they're going to last you a long, long time. So, okay, have a lovely afternoon, what's left of it, although it's rainy. And uh, take care, everybody, and I'll catch up with you all again on Friday. So have fun and I'll see you then. Okay, bye. bye.